But they ask, they're asking me to ask you why you are, you are so beautiful. Um, I pray a lot. I mind my business. I left Angel TV because my work at Angel TV was done. I cannot be sacked from Angel TV. I left Angel TV on my own accord. Because um, I always say it, it will take an evil person to call me evil. You've been around for quite some time. And you know who I am. So it's either my sources is annoying the person mm. or my spirit irritate their demons. The the style of the interview has actually changed. Yeah. The way I actually plan to do this interview <laughs> as a sister. You know, uh, I actually come with love or go with love where I go. Yeah. You get it. So the aura should be filled with love. I see. Are you in love? I'm not talking about that kind of love. But what kind of love are you talking about? It's platonic love. Which one is that? Ah. I know, I know, I know of agape. <laughs> oh, so you don't know of platonic? No, no, no. no. That is a love that exists between two brothers or sisters. Two brothers and sisters. A brother, a sister, or a friend. Uh, you know. That's what I'm talking about. So, how so the love that exists between the two of us is uh -huh. part of a platonic one. Platonic love. Exactly. Wow. First time hearing that. Where's the <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, welcome to Star FM once again. Thank so, you, love. Um, I, I see this video on TV, The Purple Room, and I keep asking, it not, Ikea, dear, you've always known Ikea to be on Angel. Now GH1, what's the story? Um, um, so I keep on saying, sir, when you work with somebody, you can't work with a person all your life. Mm. It will get to a time that you would have to be independent or you'd have to do things for yourself. So I'm no more with Angel TV. Mm. And I realized the best platform for me to show my show, which is the Pepper Room, is um, GH1 because Pepper Room is a lifestyle show. And then when we talk about lifestyle show, the best TV station for a lifestyle show like the Pepper Room is GH1. So I felt it would be best suitable for me to put it on GH1. That is why you see the promo playing on GH1. So, so to, to that person who haven't seen Pepper Room when it actually started, what's the show about? Okay, so um, the previous seasons, um, sort to tackle issues that is related to health, women. It was a mix of everything. Mm. But this season, I felt it should be just appropriate for me to celebrate beauty queens since it was my 10th anniversary of being crowned Ghana's most beautiful. Mm -hmm. So this season's Pepper Room celebrated only beauty queens and models, not just any beauty queen beauty queens that have impacted our nation in a positive way. So when you say beauty queens, you are, you are looking at the pageantry um, shows that we've had in this country and exactly. it cuts across the board, it almost across, everybody. Yeah, it's not limited to um, some particular beauty pageant. Mm. It's cut across and I also interviewed models, models who are also making it big on the international front. Talking about Beauty Queen, this is actually your 10th ten, ten year? 10th year. Wow, you've come a long way. I have come a long way. God has been good to you. To he you. has been merciful, grateful, and very faithful to me. If I look at me today, and I look at me yesterday, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. like, God has been good. So, what has actually changed with you in the last 10 years, after, after you were crowned? Well, most beautiful? My, everything about me. My life mm. took like a U turn right after Ghana's most beautiful. And most of the things that I learned in the reality house also added a lot of value to my life. Mm. Um, I used to be a very shy person. I'm quite shy now. Still shy? I'm shy. Hey. <laughs> so, well, you, you might see me in after public. How many weeks have been like, being on TV? Like, you know, me on stage and me. In person? A function or me in person. Mm -hmm. like, two? I'm too different. I get that. Yeah. So, when you see me on Instagram and you see me in person, like, we, you might think it's a different person right. you are dealing with. I'm, I'm quite shy. I'm somebody who would want somebody to go with me to one event because I don't like to socialize. 
reason <laughs> you came to my studio with two well built exactly. hair. Exactly. To scare me. No, not to scare you, but you know, to break the ice. <laughs> <you know? laughs> yeah. So now I am not like shy, shy like I used to mm. be. My confidence is like, people see me and they go like, where did you get your confidence from? I built it up of gradually, of time, yeah. right from the pageant and after the pageant. And then um, after the pageant, I realized I needed to add value to myself because mm -hmm. you can't be a queen without knowing anything. You know, there is this notion that beauty queens are empty brain people. So I felt I cannot be a beauty queen without knowing anything. So I needed to add value mm. to myself. So I had to go back to school. And then I, a lot of changes, like, it's... It's been great. It's been a great experience. Right. So, and I don't ever regret mm, being mm. part of Ghana. So if, if you tell somebody that you are a woman with a male genes, what do you mean by that? <laughs> I keep on saying that because growing up, ever since I was a kid, I never behaved like um, a girl. Tomboy? Not like tomboy, tomboy. But I've always had them, that mentality of a man to make it. I am very responsible. I want to take care of everybody around me. You get it. Mm. So because of that, I always want to like strive, push forward to make it. You get it. Where a man cannot go in as much as I am shy, I will go and I'll make a difference. That that is how I have always been. That's why I keep on saying I am a woman but I behave like a man. You behave like a man? Yes. I see. So I am I can't I am I am so responsible. I I live alone. I have mm. love people I take care of. Like, it takes the grace for a woman to do the kind of things I do to manage a company, set up your own company, Kran. At mm. my age, not too long ago, I think I posted a video, and somebody who he's not a, a, a Ghanaian, mm. he sent me a message, You, how are you? How old are you? No, no. And I'm like, Why? And he said, How can you be a boss at this age? And I'm like, how old do you think I am? And you said 29. I said, I'm not 29. So um, I don't know the relationship between age and being a boss of your own or working for somebody. So, so I'm, I'm sure it would be a, a right platform to tell them you are 33? I'm 33, yeah. Wow. I don't hide my age. Okay. I see no reason in hiding. I, I don't understand why people don't want to. Oh, so, okay, so I mean, I heard it is just you females who had these. Now that they have do so. Really? They do the same. Yeah. Yes. Because because of because. <laughs> <laughs> so how how difficult is it to be an entrepreneur in Ghana? My darling, it's so stressful. You know, setting up a business, a young lady without support, and I don't have any partner. You know, you don't have any partner. I don't have any partner. Everything you see me do, I do it with my own money, my own resources, and my own energy. I don't have any partner and you know have to battle the issue with internal revenue yeah, yeah, with that. um snares. and then you know COVID. i i set up the company right around 20, 2019 get to 2020. 2020 so like COVID was at its Somewhere peak. in march no COVID started in 2020 and i started my company in 2020 so like right in the midst of COVID, mm -hmm. i started a company boom. Wow. and then my product the wine you know it's a luxury product mm. so it's a product that will function well or say well during events and then during that time there was no event going on and i had to push the drinks too you need to use a lot of them for sampling give some out for free do a lot of um advertisement, publicity, and this all, this entails money. You know, when somebody asks you for a drink and you give the person a bottle of a drink, the person doesn't really appreciate, appreciate it or they it. think you're giving them nothing, but a bottle is 40 Ghana CDs. If I give 10 bottles a day, you can do the calculations and know how many yeah. bottles is going and how much I am losing. Okay. And then how am I going to get this money back? And then the issue with duty in this country is just crazy. It's, it's crazy. It's on the high? It, I tell you, you know, you get the product at quite a reasonable price, right. but because of duty, you need yeah. to hide the price, price of the product. And people come complain that the product is quite expensive and there is nothing you can do. I wish I could reduce the price because I'm a business person. My aim is to maximize profits. I need to make money. How do I do this if I don't push the product? And then I understand that if 
the price of the product goes down, the demand will go high. Go high yeah. But I can't do that because I cannot push the product and make loss in return. I need to. How do I um, bring some of the product back into the country if I make I lose in, at the end of the day? Okay, so when I actually posted your artwork, there were three questions that came from, I don't know if they all sat in the same room and they, they decided to ask the same question. One from your friend um, Tima, and there's another blogger, I think 1957, News or so. Then one other gentleman to who, who works with me here in the studio. That question it cuts across, but they ask they asking me to ask you why you are you are so beautiful. Well, my secret is I don't begrudge people. Mm. Um, I pray a lot. I mind my business. You can tell. I'm not somebody that you see talking about people or meddling in the affairs of people, most especially on social media. Um, I feel minding your business is the best thing you can do as a person if you want your sanity mm. and your peace as a person. And then you need to be very prayerful. And then again, drink a lot of water, water. and exercise. That has always been my secret. I see. So, I've been wanting to see you on my screens at acting. Well, I... What happened to your acting career? Tell me. I, so I had to put it on hold when I got married. Mm. Yeah. And at a point in time, I felt the industry is not really doing that well. So let me just... No, but back then, it was... It was if, if now you say back so, well, then, yeah. Back then, but the reality is there is not much money in acting. There, there isn't? I, I don't think so. Well, per my experience, I can't talk for those who are already established in the, in the business. But for an amateur like me, you know, most people, most, well, then they will tell you, oh, we, are, we have a production house, we are going to shoot a movie, we are doing audition, you will go and at the end of the day, you, you, have, pay, to be, yeah, yeah, you have to be paying money. And when I'm here now, a young girl who is trying to make it, and pe these people, they are extorting money from you. Mm, mm. So it was now that I realized, ah, these people, they were rather taking advantage of us. Mm. Because if you want me to... If you want to feature me in your movie, mm -hmm. you actually have to, to pay. pay you. Exactly. But uh, we would rather give your money to producers to film. And yeah. then they will shoot the movie and it will not even come. Yes. <laughs> you get it. So back then, I didn't. I'm like, let me just concentrate on what I want to do. And I went into TV production. Yeah, but now you have the opportunity. Now you, are, you have companies. How about set up well, a firm to, 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 to produce to, movies? To do that. You know, the reality is, <laughs> um, unless you want to do a, very, a great production that you think can attract the attention of Netflix mm. and then show, show Max and the other platforms, either than that, now you don't sell CDs. Yeah. You get it. You can only make your money via um, YouTube, internet. Yeah. So unless like you think you have the energy to do that top notch production that can get the attention of these people else you run at a loss. Mm -hmm. I had well, I wanted to produce um a series, but I talked to a few people who have already done that mm -hmm. and what they told me is getting sponsors they discouraged you that's it. Yes, getting sponsorship is so, is not easy in this country. No one that's yeah. you're right. That I, I won't I need sponsorship. I need sponsorship to, to be able to put it on TV. But I, I, I do have a production house. I don't know if you know. You know, but the Pepper Room show was produced by my own production your own, house, your own. which is J&J &J Production. Mm, yeah. Okay. All right. So if you're just tuning in, this is Star Wars 03.5 FM. I'm having a conversation with um, Ikea Hamuakwa. Uh, continue our conversation with Ikea. So at this point, you have an option to choose questions that were set by my production team and questions we sampled from so so social media which of them do you want us to go with you've seen the questions with them which of them do you think will help my brand oh oh both 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 you are my brother so, so uh, choose them for me. i should choose oh no it's okay because i love my fans, fans. i'll go for that of my fans. you go you go with the fans oh, yeah. solid right are you scared of my production team oh no not at all <laughs> not at all but i love 
to, you know a lot of them want to ask me questions, questions yeah i love to answer their questions okay so yeah. let's go into it so the beginning of our our, our conversation mm-hmm. there was a point you raised that you you're no more with angel reason you are moving your, your your content to gh1 one question that has been up in fact when i posted the artwork on on facebook people wanted to know why you left angel tv i left angel tv because my work at angel tv was done i set up angel tv and at a point in time i felt it is time for me to do something for myself so i left angel TV because i wanted to build something for myself you can't work for somebody all your life but some actually say, well, this is some, a company that belongs to your husband. So what is the big deal with you managing a company for your husband? So um, there is this saying in Akan that goes like, um, a woman, any a way I answer. Mm. What belongs to my husband does not belong to me. My husband is my husband. I am a queer. So it got to a time I felt that I needed to do something mm. for me mm. and for myself. So between vaccination and sack which is actually the right word to use for you living angel i cannot be sacked from angel tv i left angel tv on my own accord and that's for the records yes all right so to all those who kept commenting on on the photo about sacking please i'm sure it's it's been cleared now <laughs> it was pure resignation nothing got to do with sacking and then I spotted another that said you you said there's no um, father family figure in your life so I was wondering how can there not be a family figure because you have a father you have uncles you got married these three categories are set of fathers that could be in your life so how come you don't have a, fa- a family figure in your life is it the person's assumption or the person said I said it because I don't remember ever saying this. I see. News cleared. A year ago, there were news of your demise. And it was open. In fact, when I saw the news, I was, it, it actually hit me too. But for some funny reason, something said, look, chill. She is your friend. Check up on her. Maybe it could not be true because I know how some of these bloggers in this country publish stuff how did you take that news personally <laughs> well um pain forced to do any sad or son takache so i realized that the only reason that will make somebody attack you will be because the person has seen something in you or something about you so, and then the person wants to divert your focus so um will i give these people the fulfillment or will I just ignore them and move on with what I want to do? So I had these two options and I decided to ignore them and focus on what I was doing. But instantly, when the news, I'm sure a few friends saw the story, they saw the videos, and they sent it to you personally. Yeah, of course. Um, sorry. When I saw the video, um, it didn't really get to me because obviously they were lying. And then I'm like, these are lies, so why should I pay attention to them? So it was like when it kept coming, I'm like, ah. So, they are discerning Ghanaians who would know that these are just cooked up stories. And there are people too who might believe whatever that is happening. Mm. But you cannot change somebody's perception when it is formed. And I cannot start going from home to home telling people, oh, just this mean. is... So, I don't, I don't owe anybody an explanation. But... Why, why would somebody sit and sketch something like this just to mess, mess, mess things up? Well, have you stepped on toes? I don't know. I can't tell. Because um, I always say it, it will take an evil person to call me evil. You've been around for quite some time and you know who I am. So it's either my sources is annoying the person mm. or my spirit irritate their demons my good spirit one lady actually sent this uh, this question to me privately in, in my inbox and she wanted me to ask you i would read it the way she sent it ask her why she's too matured and that was the question she she, she just sent to me 
I said, I should ask you why you are too matured. And um, I, I, I actually had to go ahead and ask why she said that. She was like, look, people throw tantrums at you and <laughs> you don't respond to them. Like I said, they are doing that to divert your focus or your attention. Where Obi Ohonoma, when Sako wanna cry a problem, I know. And you know, we used to what you're doing and stuff. Or Obi Ohonoma, like you focus on what you're doing mm. and make it. Because the best revenge you can ever give your detractors is success. Me, my aim is to be successful. And my aim is not to rely on a man or anybody for money. I want to be very independent. So, so what you're saying, or the tantrums you are throwing, me and coming. Because it, first, you know, I didn't understand how this show business, this whole thing yeah. works. So whatever we pay now, coming, I'll be crying in my room. And later I realized that this is just show business. People want following. People want to make money off YouTube. And then they think, say, they can use you to make money. And you are here crying over somebody. Why be crying now? Here we cry on KBM. So why should you even waste your time thinking about this? I get it. But you know, there are times some, some also feel that, well, if somebody give it to you out there in public, you, you, you try to ignore you know, over a period of time. One day, one day, we should get up, you just throw it back to the person just to settle scores. You know, I don't totally ignore everything. Mm. There are a couple of times that I'll come and respond to things that I think are sensitive, like right. when they posted that I am dead, I felt no, this is sensitive, so I had to reply it. Either than that, who join up but them in the water there? Who be who do who ever know be deep but them in the chair? Who go water there? Your lawyers wrote to a blogger, GH Peach, I, I, I think. What, what, what happened to that case? Um, so they wanted to drag me into um, Captain Smart's issue. With I, Angel? With Angel, and I was mm. not ready for it because I had left Angel TV, and whatever that was happening there was not my problem. So I had to make my lawyers write to them. And I think people were taking advantage of my silence. So it, it, it was a warning to everybody who was using my name for profits because mm. you'd go to youtube and they are using my name for news that's not even related to me you know sometimes they'll take my picture you go and listen to their video and it's got nothing to do with mm -hmm. me just because they know say my um, picture will direct traction to their blogs. Um, blogs no they just feel like using my picture or writing my name but i've gotten used to it they are making me popular so uh, I now, now they are yeah, yeah, used to it now, tough skin, eh? My is a joint food syndrome. A joint food syndrome. I see, I get it, I get it. So, it's, it, it is clear that times, there are times you've not had good reportage by, by, by the media. And, well, you, I, you, I, I want to put them in brackets, not everybody within the media, but certain blocks, and um, maybe you should you should use one as a scapegoat, don't you think so? Um, I will not say the media because it hasn't been the media. The bloggers at large, yeah, it's been some bloggers, mm. not the bloggers, some some, some okay. bloggers who wants to make money off people, and um, I've made it a point, and I've made my intentions clear mm. that if anybody writes anything that is not true about me just to make money i'll take the person on mm. but all the things they've been writing i don't see it to be something that i should waste my money on right. but i'm waiting for a day that somebody will write something that he's not supposed to write and i'll take the person on so one one other thing that i also saw in the questions that people sent it's got to do with how you handle rumors about your, your 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 marriage because it got to a time within a year like four or five times within a year a case marriage is always in the news and she's doing this she's doing that and sometimes i wonder how people or these blogs are able to get this news from somebody's house and i, I keep asking ah, 
Like how? Because there was a point. Somebody just said there was a time you you you, you were slapped by your husband. I was like, ah. <laughs> was that a point like that? That's not, it's never true. You see me as a very calm person, but many idea. I'm not soft. Uh, so you said you have male genes in general. I'm not soft at all. And my husband is too much of a gentleman to slap me. Ignore them. What a way to cool me down. What a way to cool me down. But I, I want to believe um, when you were, you, you were married, there were a few times because of some of these news that, that came up, there were a few times you felt like well, you, you wanted to walk out of, of the marriage because this, these things were getting to you personally. Um, let's stop talking about this. Your marriage? Yeah. Yeah. This is like, you said you are single, Anna. Oh, yeah, I'm single. You are single? I'm single. Like ready to mingle? I'm not ready to mingle. I don't have time. I, I have time to make money. If you have a business proposal, proposition that you want to bring on board. You don't have time to mingle? No. Why are you saying that? Because yeah. I, I need money. I, I need money. If you are bringing a business proposal, you can bring it. But either than that, please, I don't have your time. You are done with marriage? Um, for now. For now means... I, no, I... You know, I have a lot of ventures. I have a fashion school, right. a clothing line. I have jewel fashion. I have um, Sally's products. Mm. And I intend to add more to my product line. Uh, so right now, it's, I don't it's about money. I don't need distraction. attention. Uh. You get it. I want to concentrate on what I'm doing for now, at least for the next five years. For the next five years? I, I have my kids. I have three kids. I don't have any intentions of giving birth again. Baby again, okay. I am a miyejuma, timidi, bema. I need to have time for myself, make money. And see your kids grow. Exactly. They are my everything. They are all I think about. Your little girl. My, she's so pretty. beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. So, talking about money, are you still brand ambassador for um, Omama Royal Chocolate? Um, no, I'm not. Oh, what well, the negative re reportage actually, actually affected, affected my brand in a lot of ways because I lost a lot of ambassadorial deals. Mm. But, like I said, descending Ghanaians will know that this is not worth it. You get it. But I'm good. And I believe in time. Mm. Time. Mm. It's a very time, and I'm very patient. Patience is, is a virtue. Right. You get it. Right. So time, Emre. Okay, I'm done with social media. Can I go for my? Of course. Producer's question. <laughs> I like that. I like that. So um, we should be expecting Purple Room on GH1 when? Um, on the 12th. But there's going to be a private premiere of the okay. show. Okay. Um, in my office at Oyarifa. Yeah. So on, on, on the feet. What what we are about to see on TV, there's gonna be a premium on it. Exactly. I see. So I have seen P Purple Room. I know the conversation that goes on there, but I said earlier, um, this season is for beauty pageants and beauty queens. So for a young man like me and my likes, who are also well, changing the narrative, making things um, for ourselves within Ghana. What happens? What? What's the deal? Do you so have for us this, this year, this this season's like I. It's, that's why I said this season's purple room, because mm. you know every show comes in seasons. So I decided to celebrate beauty queens this season. Next season, there are going to be a lot of changes. You get it. There are going to be a lot of changes next year. Mm. You get it. Next season, Next season yeah. so I know a time will come that we will we might drift our attention from? towards celebrating men, young, not yeah, young yes. men. I, 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 I think because some of I, us I, I need some. believe there are a lot of men who are doing wonderful well out there mm. whose name have not even been heard. Mm. You know, when we talk about successful men. They are handful and name there are names that you can mention mm. which are handful but i personally believe there are some out there who are doing marvelously well who needs to be heard of and these are the people i would love to bring to light